This is healthy whole wheat chop suey. To begin with, I'm going to use healthy whole wheat, whole wheat fusilli. 100% organic. Got a job lot for $1.25 a pound. Cheapest place to get it. Ocean State job lot. I'm heating my water. I'm going to put some fusilli in there. Probably uh, half a bag. I haven't done any videos in a while because Bruce has, Bruce has had shoulder surgery. Okay, I have enough water in here covering the fusilli, the pasta. I'll bring that to a boil. And while that's happening, uh, yeah, I have some nice 93% hamburger that I bought. It's on sale for $3.49 a pound, 93%. I'll get some of that cooking. And in this, I'm going to be cutting up, before I do this, I'm going to cut up some garlic, two cloves of garlic, small onion, celery, and peppers. Okay, and some black olives. I'm going to cut all this up into a bowl first. So let me get a bowl out. I'm not making a big one because I'm not crazy about this stuff, but Bruce loves it. And since he just had his shoulder surgery, he needs a lift. So I'll cut the celery up. He likes a lot of innards in his chop suey. I don't know why they call it chop suey. Okay. I won't cook these. Yes, that's a neat way to cut celery, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Garlic. Garlic. Same idea how to cut them. You slit them up the middle. Makes it much faster, must eat much easier. Okay. Lots of garlic. Okay, onion. Get the little skin off there. I don't like the skin. It's kind of, feels kind of weird. There we go. Okay, down there. Down there. the tops. You can tell I'm in a hurry, right? Wash the pan. Peppers. Wash the peppers. Got the little Sling off the bottom there, whatever that is. Here we go. And this one. And this one, these are not hot peppers. So you know what I'm going to do? Take some seeds on them. Keep the seeds right in them. Right there, just. Let's sharpen my knives. And a red pepper. Down. Down. Don't let your pot boil over because pasta always boils over and makes a mess on your stove. It's just coming up to boil right now. So I'm going to take a spoon. Get stirred. It doesn't stick on the bottom. And I'm going to turn it right down now to low. I don't want that thing boiling over. I don't want to clean. Here's the innards. I'll put some black olives in there, slice them up. Quick, easy meal, very healthy. Everybody loves it, it'll last a long time. 
here. She's boiling now. A few more olives. That's about it. That looks good. Pasta should cook maybe 10 minutes till it's al dente. Okay. I'm not using a lot of pasta because pasta's got carbohydrates in it. But uh, these are not bad because they're a uh, whole wheat. So what you use for your sauce, the cheapest thing you can buy, market basket, that's almost a whole container. That might be enough. If not, I have some ragu to go with it if I need it. So this is the innards. I'll fry up the hamburger. Okay, now I'm going to get the hamburger going. I'm going to put some oil. Vegetable oil. Use olive oil. Turn this up. This is 93% lean hamburger. Let this get a little hot right up there. Almost ready to stick it all together, throw it all together. This does not get cooked. This with the heat from the uh, pasta and the heat from the hamburger will cook just a tad. So it'll be kind of crunchy in, in the mix. But if you want to cook it yourself, you can throw it in the microwave for a minute to soften all those vegetables. But Bruce likes it crunchy. So he's got the soft pasta, the soft hamburger, the soft sauce, and he's got the nice crunchiness here. All depends on what you like for your texture. So that's getting hot now, and I'm going to, now, the pasta's getting nice and fat. Look at that. Nice looking good. Yep, looking good. On low, did not overboil, which is good. There's not a whole bunch of pasta there. There's a whole bunch of vegetables, which are much better for you. So meat, probably use maybe a, uh, probably a, a, a pound. I'm going to say that's about a, like a, what's the weight of a pound of butter? That's about, that right there is about a pound. I can feel that's about a pound. You'd make four nice big burgers with that, so about a pound of meat. That's all I'm going to use there. That meat is beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to crumble it up in here. You want to fry it. You don't want to boil it or simmer it. You want to fry it quickly while you got it on high. Is all dente yet? See if this is cooked yet. This pasta. Uh huh. Not quite. Okay. Still chewy. Come on, keep hot. We've been eating the usual standbys. As, uh, with Bruce's shoulder, he's not been able to use his right arm at all. So, kind of tough two weeks for him. All right. That looks pretty good. Keep frying it up a little bit more.
Now that whole wheat pasta takes a while to cook. Now you can drain this liquid off of here if you want, but what it is is just water, water that was in the meat. I think they put water in meat to weigh it down when they sell it to you. And there's that little bit of oil, but it's not too bad. There's not hardly any fat because it was 93% lean burger meat, hamburger meat. So there's that. And now I'm going to put in my sauce. I think that'll get that hot a little bit. We'll put in a little water, a little water in the jar, just a little water to use up. Otherwise you'll lose a lot of your sauce. And make these jars like this with a small top so you can't get in there and scrape it. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to add my vegetables. Now they might cook just a little bit right there in that, but that's okay. Now I'm going to turn down my turn down my temperature to low. And here's the innards now. Yep, I'm going to need some more sauce. Just a little more sauce. In fact, you know what you can use in there instead? We're going to add this. We're going to add some, a little bit of soy sauce in here, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, and a little bit of diced jalapenos. Maybe a tablespoon with some juice. There we go. Mmm. Excellent. Now we turn that off. We wait for the pasta to be done. Okay. I just take a, took a little taste of this, and it's just about done. You can see if you break it in half, it's cooked all the way through. So I'll take that off. I'll drain it into the sink. Drain the pasta. Drain it good. You don't want a lot of water in there. Okay. Then to this we add the pasta. Okay. We mix it up. Just the right amount. Look at that. You might want to add a little more sauce, you might not. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask my taste tester over on the couch to taste it and tell me if he wants more sauce in it or not. Because the pasta, as it sits, will absorb some of the liquid and it might get a little dry. So you might need a little more sauce. But otherwise, there it is. Okay, Bruce says it needs black pepper. But you can put black pepper on it yourself or put it in it. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. And uh, you can add black pepper, but otherwise he said it's fine. It's delicious. It's tasty. It's good. So there it is.